Speaking of the governor, Cooper visited the town of Windsor today, saying the extent of tornado damage in Bertie County left him stunned. A mobile home park south of Windsor was hit by an EF3 tornado from Isaias early yesterday morning. It killed two people and leveled many homes. Nine in your sides, Ariana Kraft begins our team coverage live in Windsor tonight. Ariana, what's the governor's message to those storm victims? Ken, Governor Cooper says Bertie County has a long road to recovery, but he wants people here to know the state won't forget about them and what they've lost because of Isaias. People's lives and parts of it lying all over the ground. So this has got to be very tough. On Wednesday, Governor Cooper toured the mobile home park just south of Windsor, seeing what a tornado had done here. This is devastating to, to see. I know that a lot of people are, are happy to be alive after this happened, but now they've got to pick up the pieces and it's going to be tough for them. James Gordon is one of them. Well, really, um, it's still shocking, but the worst part wasn't actually the storm itself, but it was the aftermath. With less damage to his home, he started helping neighbors. Our home was a place for shelter for those because we had to bring the sick in, we had to bring the hurt in and everything. and. You know, we're just grateful for that. Michael Sprayberry is North Carolina's emergency management director. He says recovery won't just be a short term measure. Some of these people have lost their entire homes entirely. So not only do we need to be thinking about temporary housing, we have to think about permanent, sustainable housing. Sprayberry says local officials are assessing the damage. Then it's up to FEMA to issue a federal disaster declaration. It is my hope and prayer uh, that FEMA. Uh, we'll approve this request and get the resources down to the local level as quickly as they can. But this tornado took more than houses. It killed 62-year-old Randolph Harold and 52-year-old Lathea Ann Edwards, who's being remembered and mourned. I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss a scene of passing by, blowing home at her when she come in from work and stuff like that. Governor Roy Cooper says this tornado and its aftermath highlights the need for affordable housing and health care. He's promising to address those issues in the near future. Live in Windsor, Ariana Kraft, 9 on your side. Ariana, thank you.